everybody. Welcome back to Miss Bookworm Reads You Listen. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a book called How the Crayon Saved the Unicorn by Monica Sweeney, illustrated by Veronia Parker Thomas. Yeah. On the edge of the town, a lost little unicorn wandered in search of a friend. He imagined all the fun he could have with someone to play with, but in his search far and wide, he couldn't find anybody to be his friend. He splashed through a river, but the fin fish looked at him funny. He looked up high in the trees, but the birds wouldn't sing with him. He said hello to butter butterflies in the garden, but they fluttered away. So he kept on his search, clop, 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 clop. Ian made up games along the way. Roar! He howled. Let me help me! He cried. I'll save you. He'd chime back. But after a while, he still felt gloomy. Why wouldn't anyone be his friend? Ever so slowly, his purple hooves turned to gray. His sparkle stars lost their shimmer. His rainbow mane and rainbow tail flatted inch Baby. by inch, Baby. lock by lock, until the rainbow was no more. Oh no! Ba ba Bald. Bald, the unicorn. Where did all my colors go? Where is all my sparkle? He sn sniffed, sniffled, sniffled, shuffled, sh sh shuffled, shuffled, and shuddered, and shuddered, and sank, and, sank. and a soft turf. Mm -hmm. Of grass was a little box of crayon. All of a sudden, the box began to move, and the unicorn perked up. That means, like, he looked up so fast. Mm -hmm. Out jumped seven special crayons. Hey, who's that? Where are my clothes? Puh. Huh. Wahoo! Let's make a run for it. Why is the sky blue? The blue one's silly. The unicorn looked up brightly and said, Hello, I've been wandering for a while, and I've lost all my colors. Maybe you can help me. You look like fun. So magical. Let's go play. Stick with us. Colors are our specialty. What a great day. The new friends fro frolicked. frolicked all over town. Clap, clop, 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 and spread their rainbow colors. Scribble, scribble, scribble. The unicorn was as happy as can be. He trotted, brought a field in the crayon. What is it? Trotted through a field. He trotted through a field, and the crayons came with him. He pranced in a garden, and the crayons pranced with him. He hummed his favorite tune, and then crayons humbled too. Humped. Humped. Humped too. Sorry, I keep getting things it's okay. The words are the way they have the words written is weird. But go ahead. They came across a great big puddle. They hopped around the puddle and they splished and they splashed. Cowabunga! <laughs> I am I blue because of water or is it water blue because of me? Oh no! Cried the unicorn. Not again! The coziest unicorn. The most fun unicorn. You're very sharp. The unicorn looked down at his gray hose in sadness. What kind of unicorn 
am I? If I don't even have rainbow, if I don't even have my rainbow colors, they spoil the splashiest unicorn. So special, a pretty great unicorn, the friendliest unicorn. Oh, sorry. The crayon surrounded the unicorn in a great big hug. And the unicorn felt more con con confident. confident and happier than ever before. Ever so slowly, his gray hooves turned back to purple. His sparkly stars started to shimmer. His rainbow mane and rainbow tail came back inch by inch, lock by lock. But this time, the unicorn felt as happy as his very own rainbow. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed the book. Please give a like to this channel and subscribe. Bye.